All right, guys, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to do a tip in five minutes or less, and I'm hoping less. Uh, this process does take longer. I'm going to talk about bottling from the keg. Now, I've got my keg set up down here. Um, I've got the pressure turned right down. What you want to do is get your kegs nice and cold and get your uh, get your beer carbonated. Um, this has been... I don't have a fr fridge or anything, so uh, or a keyser yet. I don't have the space for it, and since it's uh, still kind of cold out here in uh, Michigan, what I do is I take it down outside here, and I uh, I just let it sit outside out back in my uh, in the back of my truck with the windows cracked overnight. Gets cold, it carbonates it up good. Um, you know, it's been sitting around for a couple weeks now at 30 psi inside the apartment just to uh, try and get it going. Then I take it down to my truck drop it down to 10 psi so that way when it gets colder I don't over carbonate it and then I bring it in what I do first is I take the uh, keg and uh, bleed the pressure out I want to bleed it all the way down no CO2 and then I'm going to turn up the pressure so there's only like 2 psi in the keg itself I set everything up hook everything up I've got a sanitized bottle here all ready to go I got my capper now everyone thinks you gotta go out and spend hundred fifty dollars or whatever it is on the whole Blickman setup no four dollars three dollars the stopper was so cheap they just gave it to me uh, I've done it without the stopper but uh, don't you can even make the uh, tube out of a piece of uh, racking cane that may have bro broken or something like that and what you want to do I don't know if you can see here kinda cut the tip off on an angle this was uh, you know, cut the tip off on an angle so you get a nice flow. You don't want to put any pressure. I also have the bottling wands with the tip at the end. I don't recommend using those. It causes the beer to fall out. So all you do is I got this set extremely low. You want to put down into the bottle. What we're going to do is use the stopper to kind of act as a uh, counter pressure. Um, once I got it down in there, I'm going to open it up. And you'll see there's a little bit of foam in there. Some of that is star sand. Now the beer has stopped flowing through the line. I'm just going to gently squeeze the stopper and you see it starts to fill in and I want to let off. What that's going to do is help keep me from getting too much foam in the beer. Now I'm going to make a little bit of a mess here. Usually I do this in the sink but I want you to be able to see. I just keep squeezing it. I'm going to bring it right on up. Alright, hold on. We're getting quite a bit of foam here so I'm going to let it set. It helps, the colder the beer is, the better, because uh, it helps hold the CO2 in suspension. Alright, and then what you want to do, alright, I'm at the foam now. Just keep squeezing it, and eventually you'll, it'll change pitch, the sound will change, you'll get rid of the foam. Turn off your valve, pull it out. Now, normally I'll have another bottle ready to go, and I'll do these really quickly. But I don't, so I'm going to put this over in the sink. Grab my capper and the cap. These bottles don't grip so well, so we'll see if I get it on the first shot. There you go. There's my tip in under five minutes or less. The poor man's beer gun and quick bottle fill, uh, cheap counter pressure filling. Hope it works out for you. This works great if you're sending beers off to competition or anything like that and use kegs. Um, or you just want to do beer mail as well. Cheers and 17.